Hi everyone, Marion Emerson here. Okay, so some of you might have seen me do this before, but for those of you that are new, then you wouldn't have. Um, we all love the look of foil. I love these fab foils. I love these Julie Hickey foilables. But if you haven't got a foiling machine or a laminator, then how do you do it? Well, simple answer is, you use a little iron. You can use a big iron, of course, a bit more cumbersome, but I've got this little travel iron that I've had for about, I don't know, 10 years, it's filthy. Um, make sure it's not on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should give it a clean. Um, but yeah, it works. Sometimes it's a bit hit and miss, but it doesn't really matter. Um, if you want perfection, use a laminator. But if you're not too worried, an iron will be your best friend on this. It really is good. Okay, so just to let you know, I am lucky enough to get hold of Julie Hickey's brand new die cut foilable. So we've got Assorted Sentiments number three. You get 115 in this pack. So it's just so many. Then you've got the Sweet Florals die cuts. There's 96 in this and it's full of flowers and sentiments. And then this one, I need to, I need to open them, I need to open them. This is great, this one as well, because the Garden Blooms die cut. Now, apart from having lots and lots, oh look, they're all gonna fall out as I bring them out. Lots and lots of um, flowers, etc. They've got these panels as well. So you've got small ones, big ones, and they're just fantastic for that quick, simple card. So I'm actually gonna start off with that one. I think. So let me just put these back. So this has got 79 in the pack, 79 little foilables. Now, what are foilables? Basically, they're toner printed cards. So these are all by Julie Hickey. They've all been hand drawn by Julie. A lot of them are taken from her stamp designs that she hand draws. Um, yeah, and they're printed with toner. So fab foils from WOW work perfectly with toner. They also work perfect with double-sided adhesive, with normal adhesive, um, with bonding powder, with clear gloss embossing powder from WOW. I showed that in a video the other week. Um, they're just so versatile, but they're totally different from the hot foil foils. That makes sense. Hot foil foils have actually got, if you looked at the back of them, not on here because this ain't one, but if you looked at the back of them with a, a little, not a microscope, but a, what's that thing called? I, I can't think. Thing that makes it bigger. They've actually got tiny, tiny, tiny dots of glue all over them, which means that if I was to put that, if this was a hot foil and I put it on there and then put my iron on there, the whole thing would come covered in foil. Whereas with this one, because it reacts with the toner print, I put my iron on there and then whatever's black is gonna take the foil. So I think these are much more versatile. Anyway, it's down to you. But if you're using these things, this is the foils you need. You need the, the well, there are other ones out there. I, I can't think of their names. I've only ever used the Wellfab foils. Um, I have got some of the Heidi Swap ones, and I think they work in the same way. I'll have to give them a try because <laughs> I've got them and I've never used them. Oh, naughty. So, um, yeah, let's just let's just crack on. Let me just make some room. So I'm going to oh one thing I will say as well. So the fab foils come like this, they're on a piece of card, they're folded over, etc. etc. Don't throw anything away. I keep all my little scraps, and there's loads, just in between some just normal paper, and then just clip them together because anything that's still got colour, I can use. Yeah, so don't throw it away. So I am going to go quite simply. You need a card in a hurry. Let's just move all this out of the way. And I'm going to go with this, for example. Let's go. What have I got here? This is the copper. Copper's nice. Let's just chop that. So just hold it on there. Get your scissors. I've already turned my iron on. So I'm getting that to temperature. 
and it looks like it's reached it. You can do it straight on a hard surface. So I'm just straight on my table with this mat in between me and the table. Or this is just an old mouse mat that you can see I use it for this, like got foil all over it. But we're just gonna put this on here. I've got my temperature about 150, 160 for this because my iron's getting a little bit old. Let's just heat and pressure. And I can go back in and add a bit more if I haven't put enough on there. So just push nice and firm because that is what a mink or a laminator will do. It will give you heat and pressure. Okay, so let me just start looking. Oh, yeah. Okay, I've got tiny little bits of black on there. Let's just give it a little bit more. I might be a little bit too hot, so I might turn it down just a little bit. Let's just see. But I'm not saying you're going to get fantastic, perfect results with an iron, but it's a lot cheaper and it still just looks lovely. So let me give that a bit more. Ah, that's better. I still got a little bit there. Right, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this off because this was sort of concaving slightly. Let me just lift that, go on a flat surface and see if I can get that on there. I don't know if it's because I've got wrinkly bits, not just on me, but on my foil as well. There we go. Just cool it down a bit. Ah, that's better. Okay, lovely. So there we go. I've got a little bit there, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. I'm really not. But didn't it? Let me just bring it up. Look. Didn't it look lovely? Oh, look, catches it, catches it. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Now there is wow do um they do things called fab foilers which are these guys and their toner sheets like julie's um that have the like different pattern sheets etc and words but they also do a pack and i'm desperately trying to look for one um they do a pack of just plain tone ah oh, there we go look solid panels now this normally works, and I normally do do this perfectly through a laminator. I'm going to give it a go on here. So let me just line this up and see if we can transfer that pattern onto there. I'm just going to go slowly. I should have put something over or cut it down to size because look this is where I've got my black on there that's probably where I got black from last time on there oh look at that <laughs> so let's just I've got a few wrinkles in this which is probably because I've got my my iron too high but you know if you if you want to you can just experiment just with little tiny bits Oh, look, see, my black's gone from there now and it's gone down there. <laughs> so this probably won't come out perfect. If it does, I'll be well chuffed. <laughs> but I'm not expecting perfection on this because I can see, look, can you see lots of wrinkly bits? There we go. I think that's where my iron's too high. But, you know, we've got to try these things, haven't we? So let's just have a look. Let's try and... Oh, take the whole thing off. So what you do, you end up with a clear sheet, which is this bit. Okay, so it's left bits on there. Yeah, where those... Oh, look, you can see exactly where those wrinkles were. I don't know if I can salvage that. I'll try. Let's just have a, a little look and see if we can salvage it. Cool it a little bit. 
okay so we got a bit off so i could just sit here and just keep doing i shouldn't have gone too hot in the first place so note to self and to you guys don't go too hot do do what i say not what i do and do a little practice bit somewhere first of all don't go steaming in like i do story of my life that is okay another little bit there get in there I'm probably not even going to use this one, but I just wanted to show you that you don't have to throw away this bit. So let me just... Okay, still a little bit like there. But can you see what it does? So you get the whole panel. If I'd done it in a laminator, it would be perfect. It would look gorgeous. But that's just to show you. All right, guys. So let me just put that there. Let's bring this one back. It just looks so pretty. So, so nice. I could. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if there's enough black showing to add another colour now. Um, I might show you that on the, um, on the solid words. But I do feel like I'm going to watercolour this. I'm going to paint it in. If you get bits where they shouldn't be, you can just use your nail and just scrape them off. So this is absolutely fine. I'll show you that on another one. So let me just put this aside for a minute. That can just go over there. So now if I show you, right, let's do, let's see, let's do a happy birthday, oh, honestly. There's so many in here. Let's do a big happy birthday. Where are you? There's so many, honestly. Just love them. It's that quick and I just love everything that's quick and simple because I always forget to make people birthday cards. You wouldn't think, would you, with the amount of cards I make? But I always write on the back everything that I've used because I'm very forgetful um so I can't send them that <laughs> I could cut it out and then just stick it onto a card front which I have done in the past when I've been really cheeky um but anyway so let's go right I'm going to show you a little technique let me do I've got my tilt let me have a look in my little my scrap pack and let's go perfect let's have a bit of that and a bit of gold. So this is teal and gold. Oh, pull two pieces out, that's okay. So what I'm gonna do, I don't want the whole thing covered in one color. So I'm gonna screw it up. So just get lots and lots of lines in there, just scrunch it up into a nice little piece and then stretch it back out again. And then just lay it on there and push. Okay. And then we're going to lift off. Lovely. Okay, and I want you to see what that does. Can you see? Oh, there we go. Look at that. So you just get bits of it on there. It just looks so cool. But I'm then going to finish with some gold over the top. Oh, my ink pad just fell down. Oh, that's nice. A little bit more heat. See, I might have turned it down too much now. <laughs> I really should practice these things more. I've, had, I've done a video using an iron on foils before, but I can't remember what temperature I had it set at. Let's just call it. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I love that. And this to me sort of looks really masculine. So I've got an idea to do a background as well. So... I just, I think my trouble is I use this end a lot and there's, you can't, whereas the pressure is better here, isn't it? 
So I will, I'll learn one day. <laughs> I've been working with foils for years. Give me time. Oh, I love it. Right, tiddly bit there. Let's just do a little bit more there. See, look, I'm using that end again. <laughs> See, I told you I don't learn. I'm like a lemon. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? So you're getting that teal and that gold in there. And it just looks stunning. But for some reason, it's making me think of a masculine card. So I'm thinking I've got a, a little blank credit card here. So if I take my, where's my card base? Let's do, 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 do. Oh, I should have a card base here. Or is it there? So I'm just going to move that over. I'm not turning it off. So I'm going to take my Barely Arts glue. And I'm just going to... Should have cleaned it. <laughs> I keep doing this. Let's see if that's going to... Yeah. Okay. Dab your Barely Arts glue. It would help if I didn't have this ultra fine nozzle on, but I just I tend to leave this nozzle on now and just use it all the time. I'll leave that off a minute because I'm probably gonna use it again. So I wanna just dab the end of this in here. And I'm just gonna start doing a little cross hatch design as such. Like so. Do a couple down there. Just make sure you've got lots of glue on there. And the only thing is we're going to have to wait for this to dry as such. Do I need any more? Oh, I'll do one more. One more there, I think. I've got a couple of blobby bits. So, look, don't try and clean them, marry them, because it'll go horribly wrong. You know that. Okay, so let me just clean this up. Right, and I want that to just, I want it to go tacky. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna quickly put some foam pads on these. Okay, so you can see I've just taken some silver and I'm just placing it on top. Give it a nice firm rub. The glue's not going to go anywhere. And I can just push that in there wherever I see the glue. Nice and firm. And look, you've now got that as a background quick background to make you could just do loads um i was thinking about whether you could stamp it um because you can get you can get a glue um ink pad can't you do you remember from years ago i can't even remember i've probably got one somewhere um but i don't know i might try it on like a really old stamp and like sponge some glue on stamp it down but just want to see what this would clean off like from the stamp because you wouldn't want to ruin stamps but look i've already peeled them off so i'm just gonna go make sure i've got my card open the right way <laughs> let's just go on there and on there and what a quick and simple and especially masculine card I don't do masculine cards, but look, I think that's brilliant. <laughs> if I say so myself, sorry. <laughs> I'm terrible for that, sorry. <laughs> oh, look, there was a little bit of foil on there where I didn't want it. See, I just used, I should have shown you, I just used my nail and it just came off. Okay, so let's just put that there. So 
going on to um another one that i wanted to show was was pretty much like this but i want to show it with more black in there so let me just open this one let's see what would work for this one let's see what we've got oh and i will show you like like really tiny writing oh what's this what's this oh nice oh that's lovely again quick and simple card thinking of you or you could have like wishing you a wonderful day oh 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 look at this one look at that lovely fine font so let's do that and this and this time i want to leave a little bit of black in there so i am gonna go what have i got in my little bag let's go oh, do you know i do love that teal the teal and gold together what's in this one i feel like i should just be using what i've already got cut up oh look there's some nice big bits of gold all right open it up marion stop struggling let's just take oh, oh look a nice big bit of teal <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to go till and go. Oh, do you know what? Got no idea. Let's just try that. So again, it's that same thing. We're going to scrunch it up like we did. But this time, it's just going to pick it up on these really fine lines. Whereas we did, um, where is it? It's over there. We did solid um, letters before. So let's just scrunch. And I'm just going to take, where's me? parchment paper because I don't want to get it on there so I'm just gonna push down push down nice and firm and then just lift perfect scrunch it up again don't be afraid to screw it up again and then let's just same thing push down nice and firm and then lift off that's lovely so you can you see we've got the the pink on there what is this oh i think this one's called blush this one so again i'm going to do the same thing with this and open it out cover that up so i don't get it because we know what's going to happen if i stick my iron on the black let's see if that's oh lovely so screw it up again a bit repetitive but you get lovely results because they're really fine lines it's um it's something i can see really clearly but you might not be able to but i will do a close-up shot at the end when i've made the card up Oh, that's, that's tiny little amounts. Let's just try that again. Just go a little bit heavier. Not too heavy. I don't want to... Oh, that's better. So I've got a nice big bit there. So now we've got the teal and the blush. But I've left it so that you can see bits of the black on purpose. And that just gives it a little bit more definition. I just, I really, really like it. So I'm, I think you're picking it up as I catch it in the light. But it's just lovely. And again, I would use these pieces for more, like, you know, other solid words, etc. In fact, if that's already got those lines on it, let me just try this. It might work, it might not. Let's just have a little thinking. And then push down. Because also, you should have gaps in there that went on to there, for example. Perfect. Do you know what? Even that, just leaving the black in there just looks gorgeous. That's really nice. So you don't have to do two colours, three colours, whatever. You can just leave it like that. So what colour... Look at that. So I feel like I need the teal in this one. So have I got any more teal? Where did I find that? 
I'm probably going to have to use it from my pack, and I? What's this one? Oh, that's ice blue. Ice blue is beautiful, but I want it to sort of stand out a little bit more. So, I should, do you know what? When I get time one, one day, <laughs> I'll sit and put all these in their colours. Oh, oh, there's a bit of teal. Look at that. See, can you shall find. There we go. Just give it a little little tug from there okay so let me just place that on there and then nice and firm don't know if I should have done it on me mat oh we just knocked me card off the first one I've done okay got a little bit missing so I'm just going to do a little bit more. I could have cut this down to size, to be honest, and that probably would have been better for it. Okay, right. What I want to show you now, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see, like, it's all a bit blobby there, if that's picking it up. You can just go in with your nail and just gently... Just give it a little rub with you now, and then that comes off. And that just looks lovely. Okay, so I think something like this is just really simple to put on a card. It's not gonna need much more. Okay, let me just keep worrying I'm gonna burn myself with me iron still on. Julie's glosses. These are a little cotton candy mini heart glosses. They're just gorgeous. And we can pick out, look, that is perfect for that. Oh, do you know, oh I've just had an idea. Okay, I'll try it on the, the other card. I can't do it now, I've stuck them down, but I've just had an idea. But look, just simple, quick, simple, effective. Okay, so there's two. Oh, sorry, not the camera. Right, let me just put that on. I am now going to watercolour in here. Now, I'm going to use... Uh, right, look, I've got these out from the other day that I had where I hadn't tidied up. Shame on me. Um, I've got some water, I've got a little brush. So let me, oh, these are going to be perfect. Okay, not that you normally get blue flowers like this, but <laughs> today we do, okay? <laughs> so I'm just going to spritz a little bit of that. Let's go with the the deeper shade. Just pick up some of that and I'm just gonna paint this in and then I'll come back to you when it's all done Decided to add little bits of red, so I used the festive berries. But I've got to apologise to Julie because <laughs> her beautiful hand drawn design. I didn't realise I'm painting the leaves away, and then I just started painting these in the same green in the peeled paint. And then I realised afterwards that they were the little flower heads. <laughs> so sorry, Julie. <laughs> I've just transformed them all into leaves. But that's fine. So basically, I've used festive berries on there for the red, peeled paint for the leaves, and peacock feathers and salvage patina just for the um, 
flowers, the unconventional blue flowers that you don't really get in nature unless you add a bit of food dye to it. Okay, so my idea, while I was doing the other one, I thought to myself, let's just grab, I don't know, let's... Let's just grab these ones. So these are cotton candy dots. She does, she, sorry, Julie does so many different glosses. There's stars, there's hearts, there's dots, um, there's glitter ones, there's pastel, there's neutral, there's brights. There's, there's so many. Honestly, check them out. Um, but what I'm thinking is if I go, let's just use a light colour because I'm going to do silver. So I'm just going to stick these down onto this non-stick mat, which she says. And then, so I've just taken three. I'm going to take a bit of me glue. And then I'm just going to pick it up on my finger and just dab it around. So basically, I just want to cover these in the glue. Now, it should work, might not. I don't know whether they're too shiny to not take it or, you know, you can think these things will work and then you do it and then they don't and you're like, oh, okay. But that's what these videos are all about, having a little experiment and seeing how things are gonna turn out. And I'm happy to do the experiment in and then you guys can just go ahead and do the real thing. So, let me just stick that on there. While I'm waiting for that glue to dry, shall we just pick a sentiment? Now, I could go back into these. I could go into the pack that... Um, oh, no, that weren't the one that, that come from. That was, that was the one that this come from, wasn't it? This was called the Garden Blossoms. Oh, what's that one? That looks nice. Oh, oh, that's nice. You are wonderful in every way. Right, let's just have a little look at that. Now. Oh, the other thing you can do. Right, let me just show you this. Right, I'm just going to grab uh, something. What have I got out? Oh, I don't know. Let me just do one of these. Just say peacock feathers for now. So once you've foiled, you can then ink them so you can colour the background. But I would do that after you've foiled, not before. Okay, so you could do, I could have done like a rainbow of colours, but I'm just quickly showing you. And I do need some tissue that she says looking around for. And obviously she can't find it. Don't really want to use a wet baby wipe on it, what would happen? Oh, okay, that's not too bad. That's not as bad as I thought. So I'm just getting that off so it brings that foil back up. There we go. Let's just move that over there. So now you've got a coloured background to it as well. Right, let me, so I just wanted to show you that. I um, just want to see, oh, I'm going to give that a go. Hang on, while it's, while it's like it, have I got any silver still? Go on, say you've got some silver. Say you've got a bit of silver, I must have a bit of silver. Well, I could try the ice blue, let's have a look. Let me just put that. On there, rub, rub, rub. Yes, a little bit more. I might not have got the um, the glue in all the way. I probably need to glue it a bit more. Yeah, I don't think there's any around the edges there. Otherwise, it would stick to that. Just give that a rub on the edges. Yeah, when I ink, when I glued it, I just went like that, really, and I should have gone 
all the way round on the edge. Let's just have a little look. I don't mind the colour contrast actually. Let's just stick that down. Oh, do you know what? That looks all right. I suppose if I'd have gone for a different colour, well, all the, all the colours are going to look different, aren't they? Duh. And that can go in the centre there. Do you know you hardly notice that now? Yeah, I just don't think I've got my glue all the way there. Which is fine, lesson learned next time. I could put it on with a brush actually. But look, we've foiled our little glosses as well now. How cool is that? It looks really nice. So let's just see if that's gonna clean up. Yes, nice. Right, so let's go. What should we do? Should we do should we do it in this while I've got this colour out? Let's do it in this. Right, there's a couple of little bits missing where I used the where I was pushing it against the glue, but that's okay. We can just go back in and add a little bit more if we need to. So Another thing to note, if you do use a laminator, is speed. You don't want it to go through too fast, you don't want it to go through too slow, so you've got to find your happy medium. And I can't really recommend anything in particular because everyone's are going to be different. My laminator is years old from Tesco's. Um, for those in the States, Tesco's is a, a supermarket. Look at that. See, look, it picks that up so beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. And then you could cut that out and put it on one of those solid panels. And then you're going to have the, the writing in black and the rest of it in that colour. So let's just put this on a card base. Should we go flat? I think I'll go flat. Right, I'm really happy with them. So, these are just lovely. Look, I've got those. I'm going to um, take photos of them for you. Do a little close-up. There's your, your inked one. This is the solid. As I say, this would have worked out much better through a laminator. So, sometimes the iron isn't great. But, I mean, I have to say, the things that, like the fab foilers that WoW do, go perfect with Julie's foilables. They re especially like backgrounds like this, this background art one. And then you've just got like a sentiment or something just across there. You could do a rainbow of foils on this stripy one. Beautiful. And then a sentiment. And then that's it. Just quick and simple. So, yeah, they work so lovely together. Um, So... I hope that's helped a bit. Oh, one other thing. If you haven't got an iron, and I wouldn't recommend it on really tiny things. Something that's long is okay. But I've also used hair straighteners as well. So I had an old pair of GHDs. Um, so I weren't bothered if it messed them up. But it didn't. So you just got to... I put um, baking paper on top. So like I had it like that. And then, well, I actually had it like that. And then I put the straighteners on at one end like this and then just went along and then turned it around. Obviously, you didn't have this bit sticking out and then went along that way. And then that works as well because, again, it's heat and pressure. That's what you're looking for. So, yeah, if you want to have a go at foiling and you don't want to spend loads of money on your machine, then just grab your iron, 
as I say, you can use your own household one, but I would use baking parchment just in case you mess the plate up. Um, but yeah, quick and simple, and they work fabulous with Julie's foilables. So thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Bye.